Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we have Jermaine O'Neal's Level Up card, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. So again, I'm, I was able to pull, like I said, I pulled um, Jermaine O'Neal from the boxes. Man, I got all the cards from the boxes, which is pretty dope, off one box, by the way. Um, he is going to be 6'11 with a 7'3 wingspan, all right? The 91 speed is a plus. His finishing is absolutely absurd. Like, he has some really, really good finishing. Hall of Fame whistle is very, very strong. And, of course, fearless finisher, bulldozer combination is going to be really, really strong. Um, defense is going to be good, too, man. The 89 perimeter defense, 92 interior, um, the 87 steal, 92 offensive defensive rebound, 88 speed with ball with a 90 ball handle, which is absolutely absurd. And then when you come here, you see he has blow buys on Hall of Fame, which is a must. He has physical handles, which is also a must with big driver. He even has ankle breakers, which is good. Defensively, I love, 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 love. Because as you can see, by evolving him, you will get his move on Forcer Hall of Fame and Anchor in Hall of Fame, which you need to have. He has Rebound Chaser already Hall of Fame, which is great. Then he gets Challenger, he gets Clamps, he gets Glove, he gets Right Stick Ripper, he gets Off Ball Pest. These are some really, really good badges. Like, he is definitely a, like I said, he's a, I mean, in my opinion, he's going to be a top five power forward um, easily. Um, his jump shot is going to be finicky, but just from the athleticism and defense, um, you can definitely benefit by having him out there. Um, when you look at his actual animations, the jump shot is baited. I don't care anybody say the jump shot's baited. Dribbling is okay. Um, when I say okay, it's on the lower end of okay. He has like a decent behind the back, um, but you know, the combo moves, escape moves, they're decent also with Kyrie Irving and Dam Damian Lillard, but it's nothing that's going to be, you know, game breaking, okay? Um, his leaner's on basic, which I actually like, so I like basic leaner, which is cool. Um, but other than that, like I said, man, the Evo of him, just 50 um, rebounds and 100 points, that's all you need. Like, it's not hard at all. These Evos for all of them are really, really simple. But now let's go ahead, um, get back on the game real quick. Let's Evo him. Let's go to the actual shoot around, and then we'll get some gameplay. So let's do that right now. All right, so um, when it comes here, we also got badges. I mean, we can give him Acrobat. I don't have anything for Acrobat. Um, and pretty much, I have any upgradable badges. I don't have anything really upgradable. Slip your off ball. Yes, yeah, so I don't have anything upgradable for badges to give him right now. For the Evo, obviously, let's go ahead and knock that out right now. So let's go ahead and Evo him. Does that make him a pink diamond? Or is he still, what does he go to? Does it make him pink diamond 96? Oh, God, it does. It takes him all the way up to a pink diamond. So, um, really, really dope here now, the 82. So if I'm looking at shoes, I definitely look at to try to get his three ball up higher. Um, if need be, of course, you know, lateral quickness, his speed. Um, let me see what his strength. His strength is already solid. Block defense, of course. Interior defense would be great, also. So let's go ahead and look at some shoes real quick, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna go with this shoe because he already has help defense IQ at a four. So we'll do that. Um, layup, we'll try to get that upgraded. So do we have three point shooting right now? Um, oh, we do have interior defense. So let's do interior defense. I'm also so blocked. So let's go ahead and get that block up also. Um, oh, he also has steel. Let's get that steel up. So we got some good ones here, man. Um, steel, let's do that. And then the last one, let's see, let's see. Um, maybe we could try, let me see. What's, I think I might want to go, let me see. I'm taking a look here and figuring out. Um, dun, 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 dun. Um, acceleration let's do acceleration to get that acceleration to a 91 so he's going to get some really really good ones right here man help defense iq because right now his help defense is only an 88 so that being a 90 so we really boosted this man up a lot all right so we're going to go ahead throw this shoe on him real quicky quick where you at where you at there we go boom so we're applying that shoe on him um and then now let's come over here uh Let's make some adjustments real quick. Let's put my man MJ back in there. Let's go ahead and put Jermaine O'Neal at the power four position. Let's take a look at him. Oh my God, he's 99 on both now. <laughs> 99 on both, man. So we definitely upgraded the heck out of him. Now he has the 82 three ball. Um, 
No, he been had 82. That's 82 of the even. Okay, here we go. 94, 91, 96 now on the defensive side. So we really helped him out there. Um, we could, and then, of course, acceleration is now 91. So we really pushed him to a very, in the 92 help defense IQ, we really pushed him to a very, very strong card. Um, 18 Hall of Fame badges, Dream Shake, Fearless Finisher, Post Spin, Post Riser. I mean, we went over these, like you said, you know, um, the badges upgraded already. We saw that in the end. So what let me do is this. Let's go ahead and get some gameplay of them, and then let's talk about it from there. All right, so let's go ahead. Like I said, man, the SIGs are not going to be the greatest, but he's also not the worst. I mean, like, I, trust me, we've seen worse. Um, but he's not going to be the type of, you know, card that you're going to be trying or player that you're going to be trying to, like, ISO with and that type of deal. Um, but like I did say, he does have hot zones in each corner, which is good. Jump shot, 100% bait, man. Like, just 100% slow. It's a slow jump shot, man. Um, so once you get that time, though, it should be barbecue chicken. As you see right there, I am slowly trying to figure out where is that release point. Um, there we go. I think I got it. So, yeah, we got the release point down now. As you see, it's a slow jumper. Um, but, again, man, it's like the, it reminds me kind of sort of Greg Oden a little bit. Even though Greg Oden's might be a little bit more higher releasing. But that that's the kind of vibe I get is a Greg Oden type vibe. Um, again, on the moving shots, again, they're going to be basic, which I kind of like basic. I've always um, liked the basic, so um, that is good because there is a little separation, as you see there. I wonder what his look right here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the, that's one of the worst, but it's still it's still barbecue chicken. You see how it is from the side? Yeah, that one's even worse, so we're not really excited about those type of moving shots, but for the most part, like I said, man, the jumper is 100% baited, man. Like, I already know I'm going to have problems with the jumper. Um, I'm just not really... It's it's so like man like it's really hard to cue it because a lot of it's in his wrist so you got to know when to release it so um, it looks like once I get it up to his eye then I just immediately let go nope that's not even it so yeah as you see man I'm I'm already having a hard time with this but again I'm you know hey I'm a, I'm gonna make it do what it do I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and hit a couple jumpers in the game. <laughs> pray for me but yeah let's go ahead we got this shoot around out the way let's go ahead now and get some gameplay so let's head over there right now all right my nephews and nieces let's just hop right into this gameplay man and um again man like i said yo he's his shots baited so it's gonna be tough to try to get some jump shots pulled off with them unless you get widely open and um as you can see right here this guy got the mt logo so you know he's going to be pretty much i'm um, played enough to know like to be leaving the pop open so um, Jermaine O'Neal is not somebody that can really create for himself. As you see in his first possession, he gets bailed out with John Morant in that free throw. So he did hit both his free throws, so I'm down to nothing. Um, again, check that pick and roll. As you see right there, man, he's playing off ball 100%, and, and it's tough. So, again, I'm just going to use Magic Johnson just to post him up and get a bucket. I'm just going to try to make sure I win the game. I'm not going to be trying to sweat it anymore like that. Like, if it happens, it happens. I'll let it happen naturally. When I say it happens, I'm talking about as far as Jermaine O'Neal um, being able to get buckets. But as you're going to see right here in transition, this is an easy way to get buckets for him in transition. He does have an extreme amount of speed. So playing some great defense, letting your defense translate into translate, <laughs> translate into offense is going to be very important. And that's exactly what happened in that possession right there. But when I'm talking about Jermaine O'Neal and where he stands with power fours, it's I'm not going to lie, man. Power fours are really tough. Um, he's definitely can be in the top 10. But I was sitting here thinking off the top of my head, man. I'm talking about, you know, like we all know Giannis. Um, you got Carl Malone, you got, um, shoot, man, who was it, Karolinko, you got um, Thurl Bailey, um, I mean, there's so many that you can, even centers that can play the power four, because as you see right there, Jermaine going down the floor, getting another easy dunk again, man, All defense turned into easy offense, but it is tough. And since his jumper isn't the greatest, and there's a lot of centers that can play the power forward position. And again, like I said, man, I feel like Alonzo Mourning's up there with that. But one thing I will say is this, taking advantage of the smaller players as he has some really good finishing and post moves, as you see those gold drop stepper and stuff. So when I did get that mismatch with Kevin Durant, I was like, yo, let me go ahead and just see if I can drop step him. Um, he missed a wide open shot. It's 10 to four, it's a low scoring game. Been a lot of defense here. But um, regardless, I, I can already, in my humble opinion, I feel like what Jermaine is going to be really good at is is going to be in the pick and roll, getting to the basket and transition. Because as you see right there, a bulldozer again, um, eight points right there. He has eight buckets. All of them are really fours in transition. And what well, really six is in transition. And then one, well, actually all of them in transition. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking about it. But um, as you see, it's 12 to seven with 12 seconds left. Um, I didn't wasn't able to get much of him as I wanted. But um, at the end of the day, he does have 90 speed. He does have Blow Boss Hall of Fame. 
They leave Kobe wide open. I'm going to hit that wide open shot. But in my humble opinion, you know, I feel like he's a top 10 power forward. Um, probably won't make my, my unlimited team. But let me know in the comment section what you think about him. What would you change differently about the car? What do you do like? What you don't like? But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Jimmy. I'll be back really, really soon. Another banger, man. You know, when I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.